Hey guys, Dan here, and I got an offer the other day in an email, and it said something like, um, you know what, I'll put it right here. It said something like, hey, give us a quote to do a review video, like an unboxing, whatever, demo on a promotion mower that they uh, want to get you know, their brand out. And so I was like, look, I'm not a hired gun. I don't charge money to do review videos. If you want to send me something, and I think that my subscribers or you know, my YouTube followers, whatever, uh, would be interested in it, then I'll go ahead and, and I'll check it out. I'll unbox it, I'll assemble it, I'll show how easy or how hard it is to do so, and then we'll put it to the test real quick and see if it does the things that you say. Over the course of time, of course, there's going to be additional review videos. Um, you know, that's what my, how my channel operates. So Wesco reached out to me and said, you know, what they said, and uh, I answered them, and guess what showed up? This beast. So this is a 22 inch self-propelled, which just blew my mind. I didn't even know that. 22 inch self-propelled 60 volt, 5.0 amp hour cordless mower. It's mind blowing. I don't even know how to like say that, that they sent me this thing. This thing's like $700. And so I'm really super excited to tear into this box and see what this thing is all about. And I actually think the neighbor across the street from me has one of these. I'm not sure if it's self-propelled. Um, it might not be the Wesco. It might not have this color pattern on it. But, you know, I'm sure it's, a, it's another brand, but from the same manufacturer. So we're going to go ahead and tear into this thing. We're going to unbox it. We're going to assemble it. And then we're going to go ahead and check it out. And I can tell you this. If you compare this to the other cordless mower that I have, um, and I can go ahead and I can link to that up here. That is a 16 inch, 39 volt, so this is 60 volt, and it only has, I believe, a two or three amp hour battery, and this one's a five amp hour battery. So this one is way more powerful, and it has a much larger battery capacity, which means much more runtime. Um, so here's the thing. When I use that other mower, again, it's 16 inches, and this one's 22 inches. When I use the other mower, I can mow like the entire front yard and then I put it on charge and then I weed eat and I edge and I blow off the front yard and I come in the backyard and I weed eat the backyard. At that time, the battery's charged up enough that I can finish the backyard and that's how I make that 3.0 amp hour battery work. This is a 5.0 amp hour battery. I should be able to mow the front yard and the backyard nonstop all in one shot without having to stop to charge it. And that's great, especially since this is self-propelled, which means it's taking a little bit more power. I will be disappointed if I can't do the front yard and the backyard. Now I will give a piece of advice to anybody that's using a cordless mower. If it's capable of having the bag attachment put on, bag it because it's so much less strain on the motor and essentially on the battery if you can get the clippings out of the deck as soon as possible. So either side discharge it, rear discharge it, or bag it. So that way the blade's not sitting there cutting grass and mulching at the same time, which I've noticed will greatly reduce the runtime of the other mower, the other cordless mower that I have in my possession now. I did a review on that mower a little over a year ago, and I still use that mower to this day. It's a great mower. It's a cordless mower. And it's a great mower, but it's really small. It's only 16 inch, doesn't have a lot of power. It's only 40 volt and it only has a 3.0 amp hour battery. So it doesn't have a long run time. But if you can make it work like I did, then it's a great little mower. But if you got a larger job, you want something self-propelled, you need a little bit more power. Maybe you want a little bit more ability to vacuum up leaves in the fall, pine needles and stuff like that in the fall and spring. That's where something like this mower is going to come in. So this is the Wesco, W-E-S-C-O, as you see. It's got lithium battery. That's why there's a UN label on here because when it, it goes by air, it has to have that UN designation for safety reasons. And 22 inch, 60 volt, 5.0 amp hour, self-propelled bag. Let's do it. All right, I got my trusty scissors out of the wife's kitchen drawer. Actually, it's my kitchen because I do all the cooking. Um, but it's better for dramatic purposes that I say it's my wife's kitchen drawer because then you guys are like, ooh, you're gonna get in trouble. 
Yes, I am. I always get in trouble anyway, so it don't matter. This is really kind of exciting though, because I haven't had something like this, 60 volt cordless. I mean, this is, you know, this is legit. All right, so right off the bat, wow, what a charger. <laughs> That's a pretty, that's a pretty neat charger right there. Looks like it's got, uh, okay, it's got, so it's got codes on it. That'll tell you, solid red, you got a problem. Uh, flashing red, it's hot. Flashing green, it's charged. Solid green, or it's charging, solid green, fully charged. So there you go, that's the charger right there. It says it's uh, 120 volts, output 60 volt, class two battery charger. So uh, yeah, 2.5 amps at 60 volt. So it's gonna take a little while. I guess it'll take about two hours, probably two and a half hours to charge the battery from dead to, to charge. Two amp hour, two, two, what is it? 2.5 amp hour, it's a five amp hour battery. So, okay, so good news here is it comes with a side discharge chute. Here are some locking pins for the handle and we'll get into that for assembly. Holy crap, this is the battery. So this is gonna be a 60 volt battery here. Lithium. Golly, this is crazy looking. It's got a nice little handle. Okay, it's got a little lock right here. This is the serial number, which looks like it was made in 2021. 60 volt max, 5.0 amp hour, 270 watt hours. Okay. All right, hold this button down right here and it tells you where your charge is. So we're only at like 25% charge, maybe 20. We don't have much of a charge on here. I don't know if you guys can see that in the sun, but we're gonna have to charge it up. Looks like it's got a cooling fan on here and a cooling fan in here. Looks like it's gonna be sucking in or sucking out air somehow one way or the other. We'll figure that out. Maybe it doesn't have a fan. Maybe it's just an opening. All right, looks like a 1.5 bushel bag, just like that mower we did last week. Looks like it's the exact same setup. Uh, it's got hard plastic on the bottom. You can see right through it, nice and easy. That's good. That means air is gonna flow right through, make it easy for bagging. You got your little hooks right here. Obviously, it's just gonna drop in. Obviously, it's gonna be an easy um, bag attachment. And you got a little handle back here so you can shake it out. Looks like a, a common standard bag uh, that comes on most of these mowers. Like I said, uh, a lot of the same manufacturer, but it's gonna have, um, you know, different brand on it, different brand name. So take that with a bit of a grain of salt. So here's half of the uh, handle and then the other half. So let me go ahead and pull this out and uh, I'll be right back. Oh, I just noticed something else. It's got a washout port, huh? Okay, guys, before I get too deep into this, I wanna go ahead and get this battery on the charger. So, trying to figure out how this works, right? So you got the grooves here and you got this groove here. Looks like you're just gonna slide it on like so. And when it's plugged in, it's gonna give you the indications. Um, I don't think it's something that's gonna be very difficult to figure out. You can also hang this if you want, all right? So you can table mount it or you can wall mount it and just drop your battery down. All right, another thing that they give you is a manual for, uh, for the actual mower itself. It's got all the precautions and stuff like that. And it also tells you what oil viscosity to put it. Just kidding, it's battery. <laughs> when you plug the battery in, there's actually a cooling fan that starts to, uh, that fires up and starts cooling off the charger while it's charging the battery. Uh, it's pretty intense, 60 volts. It's, uh, it's quite a bit of power. So it does give you uh, an exploded view and all that to help you guys out. Um, it is a quick release foldable handle. And I'm gonna show you guys that in just a minute. And I'm trying to get familiar with this at the same time that you guys are. So if I can figure this out on the fly, then that's just gonna go for the actual review for this mower and let you know it really is simple to put this thing together. Um, like I said, I'm trying to charge the battery now so we can at least get it together and, and get things going. Um, one more thing about this is when you fold the handle down like this, there's a handle right here 
and you can actually store this like that in your shed uh, or in your garage and you don't have to worry about gas leaking out because you're going to have the gas cap to uh, I did it again it's battery but yeah so you could do it this way too um, also I'm kind of getting ahead of myself but it's really kind of exciting is I do believe it's one handle to adjust the whole height of this yeah see one handle does the whole height um, that easy one-handed and that's my bad shoulder uh, I got tennis elbow <laughs> anyways I'm gonna put this up now this was sitting in the box I don't know what this is and I don't recognize it in the manual so hopefully this was just something as a part of shipping but we'll see you you got these two knobs that come uh, loose they came loose in the bag so that obviously puts this handle into this handle okay so I'm just showing you that up close now because it's a part of the assembly so you're going to put this through the handle from the inside this way and you see it's got the hex head in here the, the square so it's going to lock and then you can tighten it down so that's all a part of being able to quickly fold your handle and stuff like that you got a little side discharge chute it's not very big it's not very impressive um you know but we'll see if it works we'll see how this works and stuff like that it's got a little groove right here for the pin to fall in on so that's kind of cool and i think it has a butt plug but i could be wrong if i open this up yeah it does it's got a it's got a mulching plug i call them butt plugs so this is a mulching plug so if you want to mulch and you don't want anything to accidentally pop through the back door you put your mulching plug in and uh so that's pretty cool not just sits like that i know absolutely nothing about this mower i did no research on it nothing i didn't even know that it was self-propelled until it actually showed up and i read the darn box okay and i didn't know it had a washout port right here so if you're into that like toros they got a washout port so that's pretty cool one lever to adjust the height like i said here's the handles to put the handle together so that's pretty cool and it also comes with one of these little clips to uh, police up your wires to make sure that they're not all silly. So let's go ahead and get into this a little bit more, get some of this plastic crap off if we can. Okay, I figured out where this piece went to that I said I found in a box. It's actually just to hold, uh, just to keep this, the end of the pipe from busting through the, con the, um, the cardboard. All right, so these are just protectors. So they're actually trash and we don't need them. That huge box and I didn't make a single that's why I cut grass and I don't play NBA. Um, so you got this foldable handle right here. I'll try to zoom in for you. You pull out this little teal knob, twist it, do the same thing on this side, twist it. And then this comes up and you have one, two, three height adjustments, depending on how high you want the bar, depending on your height. So for me, we'll just go ahead and put it all the way up and that just locks right there. So that's how you fold this down. When you're done mowing, if you want to fold it down, that's how you fold it down. Here's a cable right here, a cable um, guide right here. Okay, right here is where you put those square bolts I showed you a little bit earlier. Too easy. This is your upper handle. This has your operator presence lever. Your, I don't even know what this is. You probably push this and squeeze it. Yep. So to engage the electric motor, you're going to push this down and squeeze this at the same time. All right. That's a safety to help you with kids to keep you a little bit safer. And then obviously this is your self propel right here. All right. So to put this together, obviously we just line this up like so. We put our square bolt through. We do the same thing on this side. And we tighten it down. So like I said, if I can do this in real time on camera, then you guys know it's not hard to do. And you guys will be able to do it as well in your garage or at your yard or whatever you got going on. Okay, 
So that's tight and that's tight. So if you want to fold the handle down now, there's actually a little carrier right here. I guess this locks the engine. Oh yeah, it looks like that's a safety kill switch right here. When you bring the handle down, you can't engage it and hurt yourself. That's kind of cool. But if you want, you twist this, you twist this, okay? That just engaged the lock, twist this, twist this, pick it up by this handle, and that's your footprint. That's your total footprint on the ground in your garage. And it's that simple. I just did it real time with you so you guys can see that's how it is. Here's your blade. And the reason why they have a lock on this handle right here, they actually have a, a kill switch is because look at this blade. And so what if a kid comes up and you forget your batteries in there and a kid comes up and starts playing around with different things, you got trouble. Um, it does seem like though, this isn't installed properly. So I'm gonna have to take a look at that. Um, but here's the blade, 22 inch. It's got, you know, kind of, I guess like a mulching blade here. But that's it, too easy right there. Spins nice and free. And it's got a belt that's gonna run the transmission. So here's your transmission right here. It's actually a metal transmission and it's actually a metal frame. Um, so that's kind of impressive. I didn't know it was a metal frame. Plastic tires, you know, I mean, that's just the way it is. Plastic tires. Um, you got 10 millimeter bolts here to keep the front end tight. I had problems with my Toro with like that. Sometimes you just have to tighten them up. Um, you got the washout port right here, like I showed you. And that's how you can, you know, that's how you fold it up. That easy. Pretty cool. I need to take a look at this self propulsion though, because this thing doesn't seem like it's installed correctly from the factory. I'm not sure. So then pull this out, twist, pull this out, twist, lift it up. And you, you can put it to whatever height you want. So if you're cutting the grass one day and the next couple of weeks, your kid is a little bit younger is going to cut the grass or, or your wife's going to cut the grass or whatever. She can very easily pull this and pull this. If she's a little bit shorter, she can lock it down and you can go even, even lower. That's a pretty, that's a pretty low profile right there. Hopefully that's all in camera. That's all a pretty low profile right there. Um, obviously that's going to be too low for me, but you twist this and you can do this. And I'll probably be all the way up with it. I'm 5'8". Um, so, yeah, that's how that's going to work. Now, I need to take a look at this self-propel. It doesn't seem like it's installed correctly, but I'm, I'm going to take a look at that real quick, and I'll let you know what I find. Okay, yeah, it was, it, it was okay. I just didn't have it right. I had the cable twisted underneath, but no, it's okay. See, that's your self-propel, and that's got plenty of travel. All right. And when you go backwards, you see it can free roll forwards and backwards. And when you engage the self propulsion, you shouldn't be able to go backwards. Okay, you can go forwards, but you shouldn't be able to go backwards. See how it locks up? That tells you that the transmission is properly adjusted for forward operations. So with the engine off, whether it's a gas motor or battery motor or whatever, if you engage the self propulsion with the engine off and you should not be able to go backwards, it should drag the tires. That's how you know it's adjusted properly. If you can go backwards, then that means you might start getting some slippage going forward. You're going to realize, oh man, it doesn't have the, the pull like it used to. Then your adjustment's out. And here's an adjuster right here that's in the cable that's common in most mowers, self propel mowers. Most of them have some type of an adjustment. And I believe you would pull it tighter and that's going to bring the belt tighter when you engage it like this. All right, so um, that's how that works. Right, you have these clips. This one was already on. All right, so you just take this and find a little thing there and just route your wire in. That's all it is. It's just, just to hold it on and there's a little pinhole right there and that's where it clips. You do have your height adjustment right here. 1.5 inches is your low height. And look at this, one hand, four inches your high height. All right, so you can go four inches down to 1.5. So some people were concerned about the gas mower I did last week and I'll link to that video. Um, 
it only went up to, I believe, three inches, I believe, which for me, that's plenty. Uh, I like to cut around like two and three quarter inches. I like that carpet look. I don't like it a little tall, uh, but that's me. But this is four inches right here, uh, and that's 1.5 inch right there. So I'd probably be somewhere around there. That looks like it's going to be somewhere around three. That looks like it's going to be somewhere around two and three quarter, maybe two and a half. We'll have to check it out. So I guess the only thing left to do now is we got to hook up the side discharge chute. We're going to hook up the bag attachment and then we need to drop the battery in this thing. The side discharge chute has a couple little grooves right here and you got a, a pin with a hinge right here. So it looks like all you do, open this door, line up that groove with the pin and when you drop the door, the pin falls on it and it's not coming off as you can see. And that secures your side chute on really nice. Again, it has the butt plug installed. So you open this door. You can pull out the butt plug so you can um, mulch with this installed. It's a mulching plug, but you can mulch. Simply like we said earlier, has the little handles right here, the little hangers. And I mean, all right, so all you do is come over here, open the door, right? Drop the hangers right on the top here. It's actually right on top. I got to come around from the top here and drop it in. That's it. It just sits, you see, and let the door hold it down and then that's it. This is that little safety switch I showed you guys earlier. So when you bring the handle down, it hits the safety switch. And if you leave your battery installed and a kid comes and hits the buttons up there and stuff, as long as that handle's folded down, that's your safety switch. It can't, um, it's not gonna operate the mower. So there's your side chute. There's your bag attachment. Here's your butt plug for mulching. Too easy, goes right in. Here's your handle to stand it up. When you want to stand it up, like I showed you earlier, pull this, lock it, you can fold it, find your different height adjustments. What else you need to know? You want to know what it sounds like, so do I. And so to make sure it sounds good, we go ahead and uh, made sure that the battery is fully charged. We charged it up all night. Uh, but I do want to make a note of that battery charger. It is a 2.5 amp hour charger, and this is a 5.0 battery. Uh, so it's supposed to charge this battery in one hour from dead to full. So, you know, over the course of owning this mower, we'll find that out. Uh, but I can say that it did charge the battery pretty quick yesterday at the, you know, making this video in the first place. And um, it was charging it up really fast. And in less than an hour, we got five of the six lights to light up. So right here, if you push this button right here, you might be able to see all six lights are lit up. So that's pretty cool. That's how you can check to see if you got a full charge. The battery just drops in, okay? Just line it up and drop it in. And it clicks in place and that's it. This thing's ready to mow. We're gonna start off with side chute. Then we're gonna go ahead and bag. Then we're gonna take the clippings and we're gonna throw the clippings on top of the grass. And then we're going to go ahead and attempt to mulch the clippings while we're cutting the grass and just see what type of effect it has. Uh, we're cutting at about two and three quarter inches, which is about where I like to cut. Um, so really, that's about it. The only thing left to do now is fire this bad boy up. Did I mention it has a wash port? <laughs> Anyways, uh, so some some points of reference that I'm looking for with this mower. I want to know how well the self propulsion is. I've never had a, a battery powered self propelled mower. So that's kind of cool. Um, I also want to know being 60 volts, is it going to like kind of bog down when we put the clippings on top of the grass and try to mulch it up. So that's something I'm kind of looking for. And uh, of course the airflow into the catcher, how well is it catching the clippings? And from the looks of the catcher, it looks like it's going to be pretty good. Um, so the only thing left to do now is like we said, let's fire it up, see how it sounds. The mic is here. So we're always going to have a solid sound no matter where the mower is on the video. So we go ahead and we hit the first little safety switch here and then we squeeze the operator presence lever. And that's pretty quiet. I don't think I'm low enough. There we go. That's probably good. And now I'm going to look for the self propulsion. Okay. Well, we're not going to break any land speed records. I can tell you that. 
There we go. Now we're cutting some twigs. We're cutting some grass. Side discharge working pretty good. I mean, it looks to me like it's doing a pretty good job. It is pulling pretty good too. So at this point, we'll go ahead and put the bag attachment on. So that's pretty cool. That worked out good. And to do that, open the door, pull out the butt plug. And just drop the bag. All right, now fire this thing up. Safety switch, operator presence. And let it do its thing. Twenty-two inch wide cut. This is the largest mower I have in my fleet right now. So we're gonna do one more pass up, and then we're gonna take the clippings, and we're gonna dump the clippings on the grass, and we're gonna mulch it. Unfortunately, it's not a whole lot of clippings, but it is clippings. So we'll go ahead and put the butt plug back in. Safety switch. Now it did leave a little bit right here. Didn't get it all. Might need a second pass if you got clippings like that but you heard the engine the, the motor didn't die you know it didn't like bog down at all so it says it has about an hour of runtime and of course that's going to depend on the conditions of the yard so if it's super tall thick wet grass it's going to put a little bit more strain on the electric motor of course so that's going to cut your runtime down but in ideal mowing conditions, you know, like maybe once a week or once every two weeks, depending on your area and where you're at in the country or in the world for that matter, um, I suggest, or I, I would suspect that you, you're gonna be able to get a full 50 to 60 minutes on this one charge based on my experience with the 3.0 amp hour battery that I have on that other machine. Uh, the 22 inch cut is really nice, it's wide. Um, it looks like I'm mowing a, with a pancake, it's just wide and it's low profile, um, so that's really nice. It does have, I believe there are 11 inch wheels in the back and eight inch wheels in the front. So it does handle the terrain nice, it's smooth. It doesn't feel like it's falling into every little divot. So it does ride nice. The one hand operation there for raising and lowering the deck is really nice. It says it's 1.5 uh, inches is the low. I have it on the second from all the way down and I don't think that this is below two inches. So I'm not sure if it's accurate with their height adjustment thing. I know all the way up is definitely very high. That's very high. Um, but all the way down, you know, that is pretty low. But from the middle where we just were, that's, um, I'm two, I'm sorry, I'm two from the bottom. So I don't know, I'm probably at like two, two and a half, two and three quarter. Um, but the one hand operation is really nice. I like that you can fold the handle down and grab this and stand it up like I showed earlier. That's really neat. Um, it's easy. Three in one is super easy. 
The big battery is very nice. The, the charger actually has a cooling fan while it's charging. That's really nice, and it's got the indicators. Um, the downside to this that I can see right now, the only thing to be honest with, is it's slow. It, you, you walk really slow. You might not have been able to see it coming back and forth, so I'll close this video out with some side-to-side -side mowing, you know, so you can actually see the, the land speed here. We are not going to steal second at this pace, so let's hope the pennant's not on the line. Anyways, um, I'm just going to end it with that, and we'll, we'll go right into the end screen uh, with thumbnails and stuff like that. So uh, I hope this really helped you guys out. This is not a cheap mower. This mower is, is almost $700 for the 22-inch. They do make a smaller mower. It's a little bit cheaper, um, but for just a few dollars more, you can get the, the Grand Poobah here. And, you know, I think that's neat. It's battery, you know, if that technology is expensive, you're paying for that technology, for that lithium battery. And you know what though? You spend a good chunk of change on a wide deck mower and, but you never have to buy gas or oil or spark plugs. You never have to pull a cord. You never have to sit there and struggle with bad gas. You never have to worry about anything. Just charge that battery up. You know, if you're just looking for something convenient and, you know, powerful, I would really say give this thing a look. Pay attention to my channel. We're going to use this mower more, um, not just in my yard, but we're going to find some other yards to mow it in, like my one customer in the wheelchair who we just do it once a month. That'll be a great yard to do a test on to see how this thing handles like really thick stuff. So if you're not ready to make a decision, that's cool. But if you want more information in the video description, in the comment section, you can check out the links I have that go directly to this. You can get spare batteries and stuff like that at the West Coast store, uh, all on Amazon. And you can just check out the price and availability of this mower. Um, I, I like it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use a lot of it. You know, I always have the option to sell these things. You know, once they send them to me, I can sell this thing for 500 bucks. Um, you know, $200 off retail right now. I could sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, but for $500, could I replace it? And the answer is no. And I'd rather have it because I think it's that good. So I'm going to hang on to this and we're going to do more videos with it. And we're going to play with it and we're going to see how it is. So I'll close this out with some side to side mowing. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you on the next one.